Hello and welcome back to Code Academy's Learn JavaScript. We're in the scope section. This is scope pollution. It may seem like a great idea to always make your variables accessible, but having too many global variables can cause problems in a program. When you declare global variables, they go to the global namespace. The global namespace allows the variables to be accessible from anywhere in the program. These variables remain there until the program finishes, which means our global namespace can fill up really quickly. Scope pollution is when we have too many global variables that exist in the global namespace, or when we reuse variables across different scopes. Scope pollution makes it difficult to keep track of our different variables and sets us up for potential accidents. For example, globally scoped variables can collide with other variables that are more locally scoped, causing unexpected behavior in our code. Let's look at an example of scope pollution in practice so we know how to avoid it. Here we have let num be assigned 50. Then we have const log num, which is this function here, which will take num and assign to it 100. We then log num. Down here, we call that log num function, which runs this, and it prints 100. If we then try to log num, it also prints 100, though num up here globally is 50, and within this block, we've set it to 100, it overwrites that 50. You'll notice we have a variable num. Inside the function body of log num, we want to declare a new variable, but forgot to use the let keyword. It's here. When we call log num, num gets reassigned to 100. The reassignment inside log num affects the global variable num, which was originally 50. Even though the reassignment is allowed and we won't get an error, if we decided to use num later, we'll unknowingly use the new value of num. While it's important to know what global scope is, it's best practice to not define variables in the global scope. Instructions. Let's see what happens if we create a variable that overwrites a global variable. Inside the call my night sky function on the very first line of the function body, assign the variable stars to Sirius. As such, stars is assigned Sirius. So if we zoom out a bit, it says inside the call my night sky function, that would be here, on the first line of the function body, assign the variable stars to Sirius. As such, I like this. Copy, go here, line six. Okay, so we do have stars out here, and it is north star. Here, we assign the variable stars Sirius without using any let or const keyword. Let's run that. So if we zoom out, our log says night sky, the moon, Sirius, the Milky Way. We call my night sky, and it will return night sky plus satellites, the moon, plus stars is Sirius and then the Milky Way. So two says, outside the function, under the current console log statement, add another console log statement to log stars to the console. You'll notice that the global variable stars was reassigned to Sirius. In other words, we changed the value of the global stars variable, but it's not easy to read exactly what happened. This is bad practice in code maintainability and could impact our program in ways we do not intend. So we go here, console log stars, run it. So as it says, stars now is assigned Sirius and stars is now assigned Sirius. And that's not what we intend since stars globally should be North star. This is bad practice in code maintainability and could impact our program in ways we don't intend. So the main thing that we're learning here, scope pollution basically tells us that if we can help it, it's best not to define variables globally. It can cause errors that we don't intend, especially when we do something like call that variable within a block of code and accidentally update it. And later when we try to use it, unknowingly it has that new value. And like it says here, it's best practice to not define variables in the global scope. If you guys are getting that, you guys are getting this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.